this video, we will show you how to properly replace a damaged annular spring and ball bearings in your Hilti DX351 Powder Actuated Tool. There are several configurations of the tool, as you see here. Regardless of the fastener guides or attachments you use, the replacement process is exactly the same. Before starting any maintenance on the DX351, be sure the tool is unloaded. Remove the cartridge strip in the tool by gripping the tab and pulling it straight out through the top of the tool. Begin disassembly by removing the fastener guide and piston. Grab the black collar on the fastener guide and unscrew it until it's free of the threads. Remove and set the guide to the side. To remove the piston, rotate the black housing collar on the tool body one full turn and stop. Grab the piston and remove it from the piston guide sleeve. To ensure smooth and efficient operation of the DX351, it should be cleaned regularly. Every day after use is ideal, but at least within 5,000 fastenings. Parts that show powder residue on them should be cleaned. A cleaning kit is included with the Hilti DX351 and can be purchased separately when needed. To begin replacing the annual spring and bearings, observe the position of the annular spring tip and the location of the ball bearings on the piston guide sleeve. The spring tip faces to the right side of the tool when looking at the tool from the top and the front of the tool faces away from you. The annular spring tip must face the same direction upon reassembly. To remove the annular spring, insert a flat blade screwdriver under the tip of the annular spring and push the spring up and off the piston guide sleeve. Take precautions to keep the spring clip from flying off the tool. If present, drop the ball bearings out of their seats. To reassemble, drop a ball bearing into its seat on one side and hold in place with your finger or use a dab of grease to hold it in place. Keep your finger on the ball bearing as you rotate the tool body. Insert the other ball bearing in its seat. Press the annular spring over the top of the guide capturing the two ball bearings. Be sure the spring tips face the right side of the tool. Finally, rotate the spring until it seats in the small groove on the top of the piston guide. To reassemble the tool, push the piston into the piston guide sleeve as far as it will go, inserting the big end first. And then tighten the black housing collar the rest of the way. Hold the tool securely and press the fastener guide assembly firmly over the piston to engage the threads of the fastener guide collar with those threads on the piston guide sleeve. Screw the fastener guide collar onto the tool until an audible click is heard. You will also feel the collar settle into place. Once set, the guide collar should rotate only in one direction. Look through the hole and grip of the locking collar. The tip of the annular spring should be visible through this hole. Be sure to check the tool for proper operation and assembly. Without loading a cartridge strip, depress the tool against a firm surface like a workbench or the floor and pull the trigger. The firing pin should release, making an audible click. The tool is now ready for use. If the tool is equipped with the magazine option, load a strip of nails in the magazine and test before use. Check out more videos on the Hilti North America YouTube channel including our video on how to completely clean and maintain your DX351 powder actuated tool. Find more information about maintenance in your tool owner's manual. For more complex repairs, contact Hilti Customer Service.